Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're reading in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 19. Let's begin. And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to king Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Nevertheless, there are good things found in thee, in that thou hast taken away the groves out of the land, and hast prepared thine heart to seek God. And Jehoshaphat dwelt at Jerusalem, and he went out again through the people from Beersheba to Mount Ephraim, and brought them back unto the Lord God of their fathers. And he set judges in the land throughout all the fenced cities of Judah, city by city, and said to the judges, Take heed what ye do, for ye judge not for man, but for the Lord who is with you in the judgment. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Moreover, in Jerusalem did Jehoshaphat set of the Levites and of the priests and of the chief of the fathers of Israel for the judgment of the Lord and for controversies when they returned to Jerusalem. And he charged them, saying, Thus shall ye do in the fear of the Lord faithfully, and with a perfect heart. And what cause soever shall come to you of your brethren that dwell in your cities between blood and blood, between law and commandment, statutes and judgments, you shall even warn them that they trespass not against the Lord, and so wrath come upon you and upon your brethren. This do, and ye shall not trespass. And behold, Amariah the chief priest is over you in all matters of the Lord. And Zebediah the son of Ishmael, the ruler of the house of Judah, for all the king's matters, and also the Levites, shall be officers before you. Deal courageously, and the Lord shall be with you for good. I want to go across this one right here. Second verse. Shouldest thou help the ungodly, and love them that hate the Lord, therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. You know, that goes against the teaching that I've been taught, and most people, you know, at least to an extent we've been taught, to love everybody. You know, most of the preaching out here today is, is we're supposed to love everybody. A lot of the teaching out here today is that Jesus loved everybody. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You can't prove that by the Bible. They've changed the words of the Bible. They, the different versions have changed the words, but in the beginning it wasn't so. In the beginning it was Jesus loved the whole world. Not. How did it say that? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, should not perish, but have everlasting life. That whosoever believeth in him. There's another place that said that uh, no man can come to God except he come through Jesus, and he can't come to Jesus unless the Father, which is God, draw him. That leads me to believe that everybody doesn't get this chance that you and I have. People say, well, that's exclusionary. Yes, it is, but I didn't set it up. And I'll tell you another little secret. I'm not the one that's in charge of choosing which one gets in and which one doesn't. God has to draw you, and you have to come in. You have to believe on Jesus, the Son of God. That's the only door. He's the door. He said he was the door. You have to come in through him. That puts the lie to all these people today that are saying that all roads lead to God. That's a falsehood, folks. Oh, it's feel good. In this politically correct world that we're living in now, it's feel good. But it's, it's a false hope. It's a false hope. There are laws. There are God's laws. So, well, we're not under the law. We're under grace. Yes, and thank God for it. But don't ever think that God doesn't have laws that you're to obey.
that's the reading for today. I'm going to leave it alone. But this here said that, you know, should you go out and, and uh, mix in with these people? Should you love everybody? Should you help the ones that hate God? See, we're in danger. We're in danger in America. We're in danger in the world of helping those that hate God and thereby bring the wrath of God down on us. Consider what you've done. It's just a thought. Consider what I say. The Lord give you understanding. God bless. Have a blessed day.